Hey guys, Tangle Nerd here. Um, <laughs> I just got off of work, so um, I'm gonna. I didn't plan to make a video down here. Um, I'm gonna change my pants real quick and head on over to LNL Hawaiian Barbecue to meet up with my friend Guy and his wife. Uh, um, you know the the one that I made that uh, Tabasco holster for. So. Um, I got about 30 minutes, so I thought I would just kind of uh, make a video, kind of updating some of my recent Kydex creations. Um, I didn't, I don't usually make videos from San Antonio, so I'm, I'm just gonna prop my phone here. I don't have any of my like tripods or you know, um, think filming stuff. But um, this morning, like last night and this morning, it was kind of rainy. So I didn't really want to um, wear any of my, you know, regular work clothes. So I just threw on a pair of uh, chinos and a, you know, fleece sweater. But um, with my wallet that I've been working, I carry it. I, I discovered this today. I can carry it like this on my belt and it's, it's perfect. Okay. So what I been wearing it, like if you saw my previous video, I open it up like that and then now it's flat and I've been putting it in my uh, pocket in my sport coats and that was that was perfect um, and then when I wear my uh, 511 pants then it's you know roomy enough that I can just put this in the front pocket and it's fine you know when it's kind of folded down but this this morning I put on my chinos and then <laughs> I don't have really don't have many pockets so I Stuck this in the front pocket and it was just too bulky and like just sticking out and that was the whole reason why i wanted this flat one so yeah i, I discovered that one issue i had is um i don't i only have this one band and i i can't find them anymore on on amazon um they had did they did have one that's like blue but it's selling for like 10 11 dollars and when i got this this thing was like five dollars so, but I need a band on this one to kind of secure it because I'm afraid, you know, nothing falls out right now because I got enough stuff in there. But um, yeah, that was kind of a concern of mine. But if it's just in my pocket, that's fine. And then um, I took care of the issue about it, kind of the screws getting loose. I put two rubber washers on both ends. And then now when I close it, like it gets tight, <laughs> it, it tightens the screw. And then when I open it this way, this is, it loosens, but this way tightens it. But yeah, I just open it up and then I put it on my belt. Like that. And then the tension from the belt keeps that, keeps that part where I have all my insurance cards and Starbucks cards and things like that. It keeps that secure. And then it conceals and then it's out of, it's not in my front pocket. So I like it. This is pretty good. I might try to make a another wallet, um, maybe something similar, or maybe try to tweak the design a little bit. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go change my pants, and then I'll be I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, <laughs> I just put on my 511 pants and um, got my weapon, and then I got my uh, tourniquet this way. So I kind of had to make an adjustment uh, as. You saw in my previous video, I used to have the tourniquet part on the middle of my back. But uh, on Sunday when I was driving to San Antonio, I discovered that um, that was not going to work because it was <laughs> just too painful. Um, about 30 minutes into the drive, I had to pull over and um, take it off because it was like just pressing right into the, my lower back. So yeah, I thought, no. Nah, I need to either come up with a new way or maybe put some kind of cushion behind it. But um, I've discovered that if I move the tourniquet to the front or to the side here, that's a little bit better. Now there's nothing uh, against my back. And then, so when I sit down, you know, in the car or something, it'll be fine. So now I got it, but it's the same, basically the same thing. I just clip it on my side run it through that middle, that middle belt loop and then fold it back over so it's all smooth. And then it attaches right here. 
Um, I don't know. Um, I don't know how easy it'll be to deploy. Maybe like in an emergency, I'll just pull it out. Maybe one-handed, I'm not sure. So yeah, one-handed, it's fine. And then the loop is already established and then you just pull it out. So yeah, but anyways, um, <laughs> I gotta get going. So um, I'll get a shot of guy wearing his holster and then um, when I get back, uh, maybe I'll <laughs> talk more about the tourniquet. Okay, see ya. <laughs> oh. This is B-roll footage. B-roll footage? <laughs> For later? <laughs> I won't put you Wow. Okay. Huh? Ready? Ah, oh, food is here. Not related to this guy. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm back. Um, enjoyed a good dinner with my friend Guy and his wife, Pei. Um, oops. <laughs> and, um, oh, let me get this. Thing. So, I'm back into my normal kind of off-duty clothes. And then, um, there's my tourniquet. And, I don't know. I don't, I think... I forgot who, someone in my comments asked about one-handed um, manipulation of this, but um, yeah, right-handed it's fine, but I don't know about if something happens to my right arm and I had to access it, I could loosen it that way, reach over, pull it out, and then have to, I don't, yeah, this has to require some work. Um, pull that out and then figure, figure something out, but, um, but yeah, that's, and then I try to keep the windlass kind of diagonal because if it's, if it's straight, then it's going to jut out a little bit. So, um, so yeah, this is, I just basically make a loop and then clip it over the belt and then you just kind of determine how long you, you need it just put it through the little belt loop it's a little bit short i want this thing to cover all the velcro so let me get that okay so um get the windlass going this way so it doesn't just stick out and then you just adjust Adjust the loop until you get it where you need it to go. Still too short. Okay, so I need to pull it out. I know I need a little bit of a loop there, and then this part touches. And then this part will come around. So yeah. And then you just align the Velcro so it covers all the hooky part. And then there you go. And then now, you know, wearing, you know, over shirts and, and my hoodie. So this is a perfect way to carry it. And now it doesn't, you know, it's not gonna press on my back when I'm sitting down in my car. And I think it's, it's pretty good. And if I had to just cover it with my shirt, okay, and it doesn't interfere with my belt, can use that and then tighten it down. It's, you know, not too obtrusive, you know, nothing more than trying to hide a gun, you know, like right there. I think it's perfect. And then I can take my pants off and just leave it on there. I don't have to mess with it until 
until I want to change, you know, change my, my pants. So, and got my wallet in my front pocket. <laughs> That's good. All right. So, um, thanks for watching and, uh, sorry for the poor quality of this video, but, um, if you have any comments or questions, uh, let me know, leave a comment. See you next time.